Hey RV family, keep it, I keep it tight. My name is Jay Morris, the RV guy, and I'm back again to bring you another video. And in this one, I'm going to be covering the new Mortiferum album entitled Disgorged from Psychotic Depths. Mortiferum is a death doom metal band from Olympia, Washington, formed in 2016. Very new band, currently signed to Profound Lore Records, and this is actually their debut album. Profound Lore is obviously a label that I have covered quite a bit in the past. Uh, I really do enjoy the label for their death metal, for their black metal, for their doom metal. Very kind of sometimes avant-garde and experimental musical label for extreme levels of music. Everything from extreme brutal death metal like Pissgrave, who released a record that I really enjoyed this year, to extreme, extreme funeral doom metal such as Bell Witch. In 2017, Mortiferum released a demo, Altar of Decay. I think this record has a really nice sound on it, but the thing that kind of keeps me from enjoying it as a whole is kind of the muddied production. Don't get me wrong, I do like dense production when it comes to my death metal. I like it to sound very blood caked and very kind of not that well produced, but this kind of went a little bit too much for me. To the point to where the dissonance made it sometimes difficult to really make out what the band was doing. For a debut though, Discourse from Psychotic Depths, it is an amazing record. One thing I dig right away is a lot of times when you get death and doom metal bands that kind of cross over with those two influences, one side takes the wheel and becomes the catalyst for the entire record. It's either very slow with the occasional fast part or very fast with the occasional slow part. What I like that Mortiferum does is how they know how to blend the two together very seamlessly. Their slower sections don't drag either and their fast sections aren't that unoriginal. So right off the bat, the performance performing both styles with obvious finesse and attention to detail. Another thing that I really enjoy about this record is evident from the first track, Archaic Vision of Despair. Within the first 10 seconds of the track, you are thrust into some extremely grimy bass work. It's the type of bass work that would have a foul smell to it. It is filthy. It is low. But by far, putting everything else aside, which the performances are nice on this record, the bass work is really one of the main points that kind of sells this record for me. Like I said, this first track has a really good way of alternating between death and doom metal, which is good considering it's a fairly long track. Something kind of dawned on me near the latter half of this track, I'd say around the 5 minute 50 second mark, and that is the fact that I think fans of the 20 buck spin label would probably get quite a bit out of this, as well as fans of gore guts. And despite the fact that on paper Mortiferum kind of clings to that death and doom metal veneer, the there are some genuine moments on this record that kind of reek of technical death metal. Such as on Putrid Ascension, this track is over 8 minutes long, but in my opinion the blaze of glory happens in the very first leg of the second minute of the track. The drums just get absolutely beat to death on this track, but one thing is the guitar basically comes out with this extremely grisly, despondent, frazzled out solo. Not what I expected to get this early on in the track, but a welcome addition. This record has a gruesome sound to it, a grotesque sound to it, but it's really the performances that keep me coming back to it. I like that they know when to go technical and doom metal and death metal. It's not so unaccessible or off the beaten path that fans of just normal death metal or some surface level technical death metal won't get a lot out of it. I mean, think of like Portal's Record Ion that released last year, another Profound Lore Records band, and another Profound Lore Records album. That record was very kind of weird. It was avant-garde. It was experimental, as are a lot of different things that you can find on Profound Lore Records. Mortiferum, I would say, is one of the more accessible bands on the label currently. <laughs> I use the word accessible very loosely. People that don't like metal probably won't get a lot out of this. I'm speaking solely in terms of the label it finds itself on. They really do fix up the production from their demo tape. Everything still has this dense fog to it, but everything is just still very audible. Like I said, guitars twisting, drums getting beat to absolute death. And I guess to just kind of wrap it up, there's not really much about the vocals that are super, super out there. They're just very, you know, rumbling. 
overall very primordial, very gruff sound, great debut, very compact track listing standing at six songs, 36 minutes long, and I'm very excited to see what Mortiferum does in the future. This is one of the better Profound Lore Records albums to drop this year, in my opinion, definitely one of my favorites right up there with that Pissgrave album and others like it. So if you like death metal with some doom metal influence, if you like Profound Lore Records and a very gruff death and doom metal hybrid mix, I think you'll get a lot out of this record. I personally enjoyed it quite a bit, and I'm so excited to see what the band does in the future. Definitely going to be keeping a close eye on these guys. I'm going to be giving the sound an 8 out of 10, and that is a wrap. Please stay for the end screen and links to videos that you might be interested in. Have you heard this new Mortiferum album, Disgorged from Psychotic Depths? If you have, let me know in the comment section below what you thought about it. I would love to discuss the record with you. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. It'll help me out a lot. Subscribe to join the review family today. I'd love to have you here. And smash that notification bell to be notified of my future uploads. My name is Jay Morris, the review guy. You know who it is. And I'm signing off saying farewell. Well.